Okay, so we have the rain on the way. We have a very substantial warm up that comes with this. So if anybody was really hoping for snow and certainly for any possibility of a white Christmas, it's really not looking like that's going to happen this year. But our chances are traditionally really low anyway mm -hmm. for something like that. So we'll talk about those probabilities here in a second. But yet, I mean, really the main weather headline for us, well, it's actually two two parter because you've got this large storm coming, but along with it, some very mild air. We'll be talking about temperatures in the 60s for the first day of winter. So let's get you out there. We'll show you first and foremost uh, the probability that we would traditionally have for a white Christmas. And again, it's it, we I think anywhere from the city on southeast are used to it being a very low probability. So, you know, I know a lot of us are dreaming of that and crooning like Bing Crosby on this one, but you're going to have to go pretty far northwest for that to be a better possibility. And then, of course, the conditions have to actually be ripe for that to take place in at all. So right now, to me, it looks like we'll have some cold air, but we're very likely at this point to not have any shot at seeing a, a traditional white Christmas just because this this storm would have been our shot if we had enough cold air, but it's way too warm and it's starting to gather strength. You know, earlier this morning, this was just sort of a blob of uh, rain across eastern Texas. Now it's starting to show a little bit more, not just real estate coverage, but also more strength, more organization, and it's all headed our way out in advance of it. That southwesterly wind flow is going to help bring up those temperature levels. So when this gets here tomorrow, it's into the afternoon, so it's already at the point of the day where we would be at our mildest, and it's arriving with temperatures in the 50s. Just too warm for anything but a chilly rain. But here we go. The first half of the day looks great tomorrow. If you do have travel, you're still stuck at work, uh, you'll have an okay drive in. But later in the day is when things really get underway. And I'd say especially tomorrow night in through Friday, first half especially, is when the heaviest rain is going to be impacting our area. But, I mean, think about this. It's not just a heavy rain producer. Think about the fact that we have had a a couple of separate systems over the last few weeks that have drenched our area. So the ro the uh, ground is completely saturated at this point. There's nothing really to soak this rain up. And if we are going to end up with these kinds of totals as I put future rain amounts into motion here, yeah, that'll lead to some flooding. Now, this takes you up until 7 a.m. Saturday. That's about the point at which we'll see the storm gradually making its departure. So it's mainly a Thursday p.m. through Friday event. But one to two, possibly, this is one model's interpretation, possibly some spots pick up locally near three inches. Yeah, that'll lead to flooding. Roadway flooding, poor drainage flooding, the river flooding, also a possibility, uh, and certainly your backyard. <laughs> if you uh, tend to flood out like I do, usually do in the backyard, that'll be an issue for you, too. Now, every single newscast, every single day, right through New Year's Day, we're providing you with a travel forecast because so many of you are going to be hitting the road, the rails, the skies, and it's looking pretty good into the weekend. I think this is going to be a busy holiday travel weekend, but if you can wait and hold off, uh, Friday morning especially is going to be pretty dicey, but it only gets better from here. Even though there will be lingering showers on Saturday, especially north and west, it's nothing but improvement as the day goes on. And Sunday, you're looking good. A okay here with a, a nice sunny sky, so we do dry out at that point. I saw a lot of people walking up and down the boardwalk just in the last couple of minutes, so a lot of people taking advantage of this off season here, not just in Ocean City, but down in Cape May as well. This is obviously in our live neighborhood network, one of the southernmost spots that we have in the network, and one of the first places that's going to see the rain come at the second half of tomorrow. So again, early afternoon is about when things start to get underway in that in that regard, but. The heaviest rain will hold off until the evening, and that's when that flood watch, remember, is going to go into effect. We're at 41 degrees right now. Tack maybe another three onto that for the daytime high, but that wind flow is now southwesterly, so these temperatures are only going to start climbing in the next few days. And the seven-day, my goodness, does this stand out like a sore thumb or what? 62 degrees come Friday. And remember, ironically enough, this is the winter solstice, so we're kicking off the new season with the warmest day of the pack here and a very abnormally mild day uh, and also a rainy one at that. So it's the shortest day of, of the year in terms of daylight. At least, you know, we can chalk it up to some rain. It's not like we're going to see a lot of sun that day anyway. You know what I mean? We can handle it. No harm, no foul. Okay.